Innovative tech projects usually start out with modest means, founders out of pocket money, as well as funds of amateur investors, mostly friends, family and relatives. The project can expect serious investments only much later. Venture funds prefer investing in already built business with a foreseeable future, not just a business idea. A special group of investors, business angels and seed funds, cover the gaps between the founders out of pocket money and professional venture capital. In 2010, the Microsoft Corporation decided to found a seed investment fund to support Russian startups in software and Internet services space. The funding of projects at early stages is a special investment sector which is only beginning to take shape in the Russian venture ecosystem. It is hard to find money for seed projects in Russia. In America, there is one seed dollar, from business angels or seed funds, for every venture dollar. In Russia, the portion of seed investments is much smaller. Because of this gap, businesses often struggle at early stages of development. Experts point out that there is plenty of venture capital in Russia, but not enough startups ready to take venture money. So one of the tasks of the seed funds is to watch over projects at the earliest stages. Unless the projects move to the next maturity level, the venture funds won't have any companies to support, and the venture capital ecosystem will suffer. For us, this is primarily an investment into ecosystem. That is, we are trying to invest into the success and the development of technology ecosystem in Russia. Our goal is to find and stimulate successful projects. But why would an American company take care of the development of the Russian venture ecosystem? No one knows which technology will spawn the next global company. That's why large corporations are forced to invest in the innovation process to support their technological centers and fund projects at early stages of development. Why do we need this? In order to keep being relevant, in order to catch the next big thing, the next technology of the future. Besides, it is much easier to enter these deals at the early stages. Microsoft was considering establishing a fund in one of the BRIC countries – Brazil, Russia, India or China. Russia was chosen because it met the following conditions. The company had long worked in this country, plus professional level of Russian programmers is very well known. But they lack experience in the field of commercialization. For Microsoft, this is an investment, not just in a particular project. This is an investment into the market. Microsoft's strategy for the past 30 years has heavily been based on the ecosystem, the ecosystem of partners which becomes great sales channel, makes the vast majority deals on the market, and partners generate 95% of Microsoft revenues. And in this sense, it is strategically important for Microsoft to fill this ecosystem with business. business. Grant – money allocated on a non-refundable basis by public or private funds to support and stimulate individual researchers, informal creative groups and laboratories. Grant money can be used for research and the prototyping of products, as long as regular reports are received on the subject of the money's use. The purchase of a share of the company in exchange for the grant is not assumed. Only young companies can expect financial support from the Microsoft Fund. The company should meet a number of criteria, have a skilled team, a detailed business plan with market analysis, a sales plan and cost forecast. A demonstration of a working prototype of new software or an Internet service based on Microsoft software platform is desirable. One such project is Norma Sugar. The project received $50,000 in 2011. It is an online tool for people with diabetes that helps them control their diet 
and their blood sugar levels and allows them to consult an MD online without making appointments. This social project can make life easier for millions of diabetics worldwide. We haven't put the money to use yet. We just completed all the paperwork necessary to receive this grant. We are going to use the money to hire new employee and to expand the number of features and programs for our mobile clients. The first stage of selection is filling out an online application form. It is quite complicated, designed to weed out unprepared candidates. This method has been around a while. There are no local technology markets. The companies that are funded by Microsoft shouldn't compete on the Russian market. They should focus on the global market. They need to be prepared for global competition from the start. Any young company trying to get funds from the investment committee needs to be able, first of all, to clearly state its goals and objectives. A good friend of mine asked me to look at one young company. What is your area? I asked. Fridges was the answer. You have come to the wrong address then, I said. But the person who introduced me to this company implored me to find the time to take a look at them, and I was glad that I did. They plan to produce software for refrigerators to reduce power consumption. If you are developing software for fridges, do not tell investors you are developing fridges. You will lose all your potential funding. You have to understand your market and your specialization. Obtaining the grant is simple. The properly completed applications are examined by the investment committee, which then makes the decision. If the project manager knows the project goals, he will have no trouble filling this application out. The grant money varies from $25 to $250,000 depending on the needs of the company. The plan is to provide 10 grants annually. But the fund does not have a strict quota for the number of companies, nor the volume of financing. A gross plan is impossible in the investment world. Truly impossible. You cannot tell a venture capitalist to invest this much and this much in so-and-so's five projects in this fiscal year. It is nonsense. It is completely pointless. Our task is not to spend money. Our task is not to fund a certain number of projects. Our task is to find the best and to finance the best. And if in this quarter there won't be any good projects, we won't fund anyone. And if the next quarter we will bring three great projects, we'll fund them all. The funds and organizations that support early-stage companies in Russia Skolkova Foundation, Russian Venture Company, Glavstart Startup Factory, Investment and Venture Fund of Tatarstan Republic, Moscow Seed Fund, Global Tech Innovations Company and Tax Drive Business Accelerator are the fund's partners. Representatives of these companies form the selection committee. Microsoft Seed Fund is a rather interesting phenomenon because, first of all, it provides a very serious flow of projects. The fund has gathered a team of experts well known in the venture industry. And the quality of the analysis of applications is also very high. Microsoft Seed Fund is a junction connecting interesting high-quality projects with the business expertise of venture capitalists and technology experts from companies and funds. Human Reader is another project supported by the fund. The new program can read human psycho-emotional states based on video recordings. The system can determine how truthfully a person responds to questions during an employment interview or, for example, when taking a loan in the bank. The project received a grant of $40,000.
The idea itself is interesting. I think when the guys will have the prototype, we will see whether this technology actually increases security and whether it will be able to improve bank's reimbursement rate. We will see. One of the grant's conditions is the accurate reporting of the proper use of the money. At the application stage, the applicant must submit cost forecasts and explain what the company needs money for. Well, actually, we've got an exact plan for what to do with the grant money. Part of it will go to salaries, the other part will be used to purchase necessary expensive equipment – cameras, thermal imagery devices, oscillographs, all the equipment we need for our work with the artificial vision. In order to attract major venture funds, the project has to create a working prototype of a product or service. Microsoft Fund's portfolio companies are still very young, but they do have the potential to interest the major players of the venture sector. Our goal is that these companies develop and turn into successful businesses. That's why we keep an eye on this, so to speak helping these projects become better and stronger. It's too early to talk about results yet, but in a year and a half it will be possible to estimate the market potential of the companies. I think that in this year or two we will see a number of deals made thanks to the Microsoft Seed Fund. Fund executives are working on improving the grant system and preparing special programs for students, primarily for students studying economics and technical studies, to give them the opportunity for professional growth. A system of minor grants is currently being tested. Small sums are given out to designers of mobile and web applications. There are a lot of enthusiastic students, many of which have interesting ideas and want to do something about them. We want to motivate them to make prototypes and products, so they don't have to wait till they can finance their work themselves. If major Russian corporations were to follow Microsoft's idea and create similar branch seed funds, they would foster the development of the venture capital industry in Russia and help companies achieve an advantage on the market.